Welcome to part number 7 of Gran Turismo 5 Ace Back. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're doing the C Gran Turismo Courting Academy. We're going to finally start the special events. And, yeah, special events are specially prepared challenges with a range of concepts. These events all have their own particular rules and setups. Some special events will only become available once your A spec or B spec level reaches a certain point. So, yeah. Good thing that we did the B spec stuff first because we don't have to do any level grinding. We can immediately do the Veto Challenge if we really wanted to, but that's going to be last. Well, it's not going to be last technically because we're going to do the Gran Turismo Rally like sporadically in the LP. So I'm going to like put beginner beginner rallies somewhere, middle, intermediate somewhere, and then advance towards the end of the game. But yeah, Lucas, English only, please. But yeah, Gran Turismo Carding Experience. Let's go ahead and get that done. But first, what we got to do is... Got to go to my garage. Now, the Gran Turismo PDI Cart 100 is something that we received for reaching level 1 in either A-Spec or B-Spec. <laughs> yeah, thanks, fanboy. And I'm going to go ahead and give it my number. And I'm going to repaint it because I wanted a different color, not silver. Give it my good old number 76 and dial number 2 for the number. And I want to repaint the car. Yeah, I I've seen it, Ender. It's it's beautiful. It, it was awesome to see Wiccans standing up. Can I oil this cart? All right, so let's see here. I want to paint it like red. Go by hue. And... I want to give it like a red color. What's a red that I have? And they all look pretty similar. Yeah, I mean, you can, but, you know, you can only if the engine is, like, beat up. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin the special events, and I'm not going to go ahead and separate these into three separate videos. I'm going to do all the Gran Turismo Rally ones all at once. And so let's begin with the Sunday Kart Race, the first race in the beginning league. Yeah, no drink this time, oh man. Because that good old go-kart is brand new, so we don't need to change the oil. So yeah, there's really no adjustments to the car that you can make. And yeah, I mean, it's just very bare bones karting and stuff. <laughs> Can't believe you're creepy, Jeff Gordon. Yeah, same here. I can't wait for the creepy Jeff Gordon to appear. So I figured I might as well take the time to explain something with how I'm going to format all of this. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is... I hit the brakes because I forgot to calibrate my brakes for my DFGT. Um, the way I'm going to format the special events is like this. I'm going to go and sprinkle in the AMG Driving Academy after every special event. So after the karting, I'm going to do Beginner League for the AMG Driving Academy. After NASCAR, Intermediate, Top Gear, Expert, Grand Tour, Advanced, you know, or whatever, Expert, whatever the hell it's called. But yeah, um, that's basically the way I'm going to be formatting um, those special events. Battle stuff is obviously last, and then the GT Rally, like I mentioned before, that's going to be, at, you know, sprinkled in throughout the game because I want to get different cars and stuff. Starting at Trial Mountain. I mean, yeah, you really can't do Carding on Trial Mountain. It's not going to work. So, taking lessons from 18 Day Blue DD. Smooth is fast. Just be nice and easy with the carts, even though these though carts are horribly simulated in Gran Turismo, according to many people. I mean, it's really hard to you know, emulate carts. Oh yeah, Jeff Gordon said that NASCARs have Formula 1 technology. Good lord. I completely forgot that Jeff Gordon said that. It's like, dude, how could he say that with a straight face? Like, there's no way. 
Like, I like NASCAR, don't get me wrong, but there is no way in hell that freaking NASCAR has the same technology as Formula One. <laughs> Did one of these races in reverse? Real driving simulator? Yeah, clearly. NASCAR is heavy. Yeah, I mean, there, you can't, there is no technology in NASCAR. Honestly, NASCAR is very bare bones, and that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing because, you know, not every race, but a good amount of the races have a lot of action and stuff. But, you know, the competition is not super close because there's obviously big teams like Gibbs and Hendrick and Henske or whoever, SHR, but... Yeah, I mean... Ah, uh, no thank you, Ender. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to try it in reverse. But yeah, I mean... While there's still good competition in NASCAR, you know... There is no technology in it. They're starting to put a little bit more technology, like... A, like, a little bit more electronic stuff, like the, the dashes and stuff. You know, it's very... It's, it's not anything too crazy. You, you just cannot compare the two. It's apples and oranges at the end of the day. Okay, trying this for a second time. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a good first race. This race isn't difficult, I just keep making mistakes. Oh, there's no, there's no tracks around you, that sucks. Yeah, in terms of tracks around me, what, what do we have? I have Adams and Motorsports Park, which is a place in Riverside, California. I have Cal Speed Karting, which is used at Auto Club Speedway's parking lot. But despite being a parking lot track, it's still really awesome. Cal Speed is one of the best places to go racing around here. It's actually Cal Speed that uh, my friends do. So I was mentioning in the previous attempt, guys, for watching this video on YouTube as a pre upload, that um, I have some friends who do karting and stuff. And Cal Speed karting is where they usually do it at. If you arrive and drive series, or I've met someone who's done LAKC, I've met someone who's done Tri C. LAKC is Los Angeles Karting Championship, by the way. Tri C is like Tri California, I think. I, I don't, I don't know. Or Tri County. I, I have no clue what Tri C stands for. And I went off track and the uh, Rumble Strips. Why not? You love go karting IRL, nice. I mean, I like it too, but, you know, I, I'm not good at it. I'm terrible at karting. And I've met people who've done that in real life. Eventually, flip the cart. I've met someone who's flipped the cart before. And of course, we still survive because I go faster than focus. Yeah, that happened, but I still win! Because Grand Turismo logic. This driver's immune to injury. He's not even human, guys. What's up, Antonio? I might use it as a thumbnail, maybe. I don't know. He actually going airborne, so let me save that replay real quick. Oh look, those are all the licenses. Because the AI, it's Gran Turismo AI. That's like the only explanation I can think of. All right, so that's the, that's the beginner cup down. Let's go on to intermediate. And now it's time for the Clubman Karting Cup. At Driving Park Kart Track C. <laughs> He's not even human, says the SCP corner. Hey, Siege Breaker. I'm pretty good. How are you? Could you tell me your original name? Because I... I don't know who you are. At the moment. But anyways, um... Yeah, this is an intermediate track, so I expect it to be more twisty and windy, more technical than the... 
All right, trying this again. I screwed up on my first run. Okay, so good start. <laughs> really pop size close to that. Yeah, I was close to getting on the first attempt. I just messed up on the third lap and then nearly had it at the end, but the part that I tried punting and got around me. He avoided the punt. See, I think these carts only have brakes in the rear, and that's it. So you have to be really gentle with the brake. And if you slam on the brakes, then you just spin the rear around while trying to corner, and that's never a good sign, never a good day. So I kind of have to drive like this thing has no, well, this thing doesn't have ABS, technically. It's not in the menu, but I have to literally drive, you know, 50% brakes. Do a punt to get a spun. Yeah, big willow on GT6. That was kind of a dumb choice for a go kart race, if you ask me. Ooh, over the curb. Yeah, they are MR, and on top of that, just they only have brakes in the rear, if I understand that correctly. It's a very, you know, bare bones braking system on these things. Yep, exactly, fucking. Oh yeah, the, the horse death mile, there, there is a uh, bug, especially when you do it like grid stars in GT Sport, because in general that track is super buggy, that Northern Isle just are, they're so buggy, hey what's up Tyler, how are you, welcome to the stream. But yeah, um, hey Ben, what's up dude? How are you? Okay, so we're not messing up this time. Five seconds ahead of the rest of the field. Just one more lap to go. <laughs> uh, wait, oh wait, you're talking about when he had the massive lead. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I thought you were talking about the Beetle race. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. And yes, uh, I have enjoyed the strange karting physics. Although I wouldn't know because I've never driven karts like these before. I've only driven arrive and drive electric go karts indoors. Not even arrive and drive Grand School outdoor stuff. Oh wait, I have once actually. That was like a long time ago. That was at a really good go-kart track here in SoCal. Nice and easy to the final corner. There we go. Yeah, I've played GT7 on the PS6. No, there is no there is no GT7. Hey Barney, what's up, dude? So yeah, now we move on to the final intermediate go-kart race. Which is at Tokyo, I want to say the Tokyo Bay Circuit.
Don't make the same mistake I did on Forza 2. Uh, what are you talking about? I never played Forza 2 on the channel. Not that I ever streamed it or anything, or uh, canceled an LP for it. No one sleeps in Tokyo. Yep. It is true. We don't speak of Forza 2 here. No, we do. Um, I don't really play much PS4, Tyler, so I really can't say. All I really play the PS4 for is GT Sport. Why am I doing the special events first? Because I can. Well, Bob, I went an easy win because I was stupid enough to smack the wall for no reason. For a joke. Here we go. Alright, let's not fuck around this time and actually get to the front. It's a yoke. The five seconds. Can we get a kill counter? Um, you know what? For the Sebastian Vettel challenge, I'm gonna set up a fail counter, like an actual attempt counter, because I, I, I want to see how many attempts it's gonna take me. Actually, do that fucking like event. Easy. There we go. Let's go to the attack zone. There we go. We got the attack zone. And fan boost. Because this is basically Formula E tracks in a nutshell. Oh, were you? Oh, um, so. Oh my god, Clef King, I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. You know, like, Burnout 1 was so long ago, that was like, what, my third LP on this channel? Holy shit, that was, what, June, July? Somewhere around there, I did that in one whole day. So yeah, I think the, I think the chat counter will wait for Burnout 2 point of impact. Which I'm still trying to sort out my Xbox um, recording situation for that because I have an original Xbox and I want to play the Xbox version because the custom cars get extra and yeah, yeah. the custom cars get extra skins and then there is more crash events in that game. I think 30 compared to 15 on PS2 and GameCube. The chat counter. Uh, so so back when I had a wee like 100 subscribers, uh, Ender. Um, I was playing Burnout 1, and everybody was just counting the amount of time they crashed in the whole LP. And it was like a total of like 102 times, I want to say? Somewhere around there. It was for sure 100 times. Yeah, Burnout 3 is my favorite in the whole series as well. Like, that game is just, I don't know, man. I think that game just perfected what arcade racing is all about. Like, fast action, you know, unrealistic physics, like, just crashing, you know, crunching, just... The pacing of the game was good overall, just, like, the crash mode was awesome. Even though I'm not a fan of, like, the soundtrack, you know, even though I'm not a fan of the soundtrack, as in, like, music I'd listen to on the outside, it's still good enough music to listen to while playing the game because of nostalgia. It just fits. But I can't really say I'd listen to Rise Against or Fall Out Boy or Jimmy Eat World on my own time, but yeah, they're um, they're good music for the game. Uh, I don't have Burnout Paradise Remastered Barney. I'm, I'm gonna get it soon though. Once I get paid, I'll probably pick it up because it's not that much anymore. So yay, we're level 16. Thank you, chat, for cheering for me. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I know you guys mean a lot. Support. All right, now it's time to do the advanced section of the karting. Starting with the Gran Turismo karting trophy. My longest stream? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't really keep track of that stuff. All right, so back at Tokyo for another race.
I was reading chat, which is why I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, Mikhail, for sure. And really, Ben? That's interesting. And what's up, Arthur? So here we go, the first race of the Advanced Karting Championship. Congratulations on the Karting Trophy. Look how advanced that track is. Ooh, look! The screen is on. Uh, someone might want to tell the cameraman to face the screen at the actual on-track activities because the people in the grandstands can't see anything on the screen. It is dark! The sun is starting to set on the track. It's not as bad as the Toscana event because that's unplayable. That's TV crew, I know, right? I've seen high schools that can do better TV production than that. And I know because my high school had like a like a uh, internship for a TV for a TV program or not TV program, but like like broadcasting and shit. And like I remember once that you know during one of the award ceremonies or like. I cannot remember what they're called. When everybody goes to the auditorium for like announcements and stuff. Whatever the hell. Oh, assemblies, assemblies. Whenever we had assemblies, you know, we had to watch original student broadcasting and somebody did like the news and someone did like a sports show and it was pretty goddamn bad. Your high school was hyper. You know what the best part about middle school was? You remember Jimmy's stream? What about well, which stream you're referring to? Um, but I remember in middle school, the talent show. We had an assembly and we had to actually sit through like the talent show acts. And oh my god, they were so freaking bad. Oh, the fireworks with the F1 theme. Yeah, dude, that New Year's stream was amazing. My New, my New Year's was actually pretty quiet. But like, my parents went out, my brother and my sister went out. I stayed home because my dog was, you know, scared shitless because of the fireworks and stuff, so I was just like hanging out with my dog and comforting her and hugging her and stuff. But yeah, um, yeah, that New Year's stream that he did, ooh, 44 even, nice. Yeah, that New Year's stream he did was pretty epic. No, oh, I hate I hate Fortnite with a burning passion. With just two laps to go, we have a pretty easy win in the bag unless we somehow slap a wall. Nasty. Yeah, just like that. But this time, can we interfere? Yes, we can. We slow the field down. Yes. Oh, hey, what's up, Android? I see you retracted the message. I don't even know what you said. The kids in your high school drink Mountain Dew constantly. What, are they gamers? Ah! Laugh those carts. Yeah, I actually made the field slow down, so that helped me out here. It's dead to Tetris 99. I drive like Maldonado? Well, you drive like to be at. Ah. You're, you're the one to talk, Barney. You're all over the place in my GT Sport open lobby, crashing everybody at, at Yamagiwa. Burn. And there we go. My Maldonado skills help me win. Yay. Only one more race to go in the karting championship. They just drink it all the time. Dude, my high school, I went to a really, like, ghetto, trashy high school. Holy shit, 167 grand. That is a lot of cash. Um, yeah, I mean, my high school, dude, I used to know people who drink, like, jaritos and fucking eat, like, hot fries or hot Cheetos in the morning. Like, wh what nutrition do you get out of that? What nutrition do you get out of eating hot Cheetos in the morning? Or, like... People who would eat like what's called like tosti locos, like 
like pork skin with like Tostitos, it's so disgusting. It's so nasty. It's like, why do I, why do my people even eat? Okay, so here's the final race, Autumn Ring Mini, the one real track that we go to. Their stomach must be actually nothing. <laughs> Clearly, dude. Hey, DVD video. I love this game. Yeah, me too. I don't love. I love this game because, yeah. How did I know? No, not Tostinos. Like they're called Tosti Locos. It's like a. It's a Hispanic snack where you get Tostinos and then you get fried pork skins. And you put like chili and cheese and stuff, it's disgusting. Like, I'll eat anything, but anything but that. Oh, now that's nothing in Yuji Ide? Yeah, clearly. So smooth is fast, and we can be really smooth here at Autumn Ring, because guess what? I know the track. Try not to turn the wheel too much. It'll be nice and easy through the corners. Yeah, uh, not as a breakfast item, exactly. Yuji yeah, Ide, let's be fair. Yuji Ide has accomplished something that many people on this planet couldn't have, and that's get a super license. And imagining to win some sort of Super GT race. I think he won a GT300. Mikhail, can you confirm that, please? If you're still here. Ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah, exactly. See, that's breakfast. There's nutrition to that. There's no nutrition to drinking soda and eating hot Cheetos in the morning. He's your teammate on Formula 1 Championship Edition. Oh, he takes everyone out. Yes. Well, the ultimate team orders. No need for James to step in. Mm -mm. He said UGE Day just wreck everybody. Two laps to go. Ooh, rumble strips. Those are the devil. Don't want to be on them. Not with this car. Ide? Uh, maybe. Wasn't he like, what, 30 or something when he made his Grand Prix debut? What's if he had an iPhone Android? You wouldn't be able to pull all your apps by accident. I know, a bad joke. 31, thank you. He was 31, yeah, thank you. I know he was in his 30s somewhere. Oh, I'm kidding, Android. Androids are good too. But yeah, um, he was 30. Yeah, I know he was in his 30s. Yeah, he at least did something, you know, in racing. He at least won. I know he won a Super GT race of some sort. I think. And there we go. We break the toe link and we win. Uh, I have a PC, Tyler. I have. Uh, I don't really own that many games. Just... Rick rolled. Well, that would have been. You know, that would have been pretty cool if it was like 2007, 2008. Kind of a. Kind of behind the times there, bud. Okay, so that is the Gran Turismo Karting Academy, or experience, all done! So let's go ahead and take a look at our prizes. So for getting the beginner special events done, we win 
Born number 17, or 117, we win Symphonic Silver Metallic Color for Intermediate, and for Advanced, Matt White. Okay. At least it wasn't just three horns, otherwise that'd be kind of pointless. So yeah, that is it for the carding, uh, for the carding challenge. So next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we will begin the AMG Driving Academy with the beginner section.